Hi, I'm Christian Jambroni, and today I'll show y'all how to hit a golf ball. So over the quarantine break, I took up golf, I started playing, I started learning how to play it. And I'll show y'all today how to hit your driver, your wood, and your iron. So the first thing you need to do, you gotta take your gloves and you gotta put it on. What this does essentially is it keeps your hand from slipping a little bit, but it's mainly to protect your hand. In your swing, you could tear the skin. So then what you wanna do is you wanna take your tee, wanna tee it up, and you want to take your ball. And then, ooh. Now next, we go with the wood. The wood, you can either hit it off the deck or off the tee. Today, I'll hit it off the deck for y'all, which basically means hitting it off straight grass. Same, same technique, basically. Just crush it out of here. And now finally, we get to the irons. Now there's quite a few irons, but today I'll show you how to hit the seven iron. You basically just put it under there, and the goal is to get that wedge right underneath the ball. Just like that. And that is how you hit your main clubs and golf. Hi, I'm Ethan Dupre. I'm gonna be showing you how you do that. Okay, this is a guitar. I'm gonna be showing you how you use the guitar, but the very basics, because it's complex. Okay, so first, main thing about a guitar, they have six strings. There's four that are golden and two that look silver. It goes from the thickest to the thinnest. Okay, they're all tuned to their own individual notes, except for the bottom and the top. They're tuned an octave. There's an, uh, two octaves in between them. Um, you set what note they are by using the tuning pegs, which you can make them higher or lower on each individual string. Okay. And basically, so you don't set to play only, you only have six notes, but like you see in the space in between these two little metal parts, press that down and it changes the note. So this is me pressing it down, pressing it. I mean, me, me letting it go is just what the string is normally tuned to. So basically you can use the strings to press them down and you can make things called chords, which is what most songs are composed of. So like this is one chord. Boom, already sounds like a song. Okay, now that's using, that's me pressing down three strings right here. One, two, and three. So it's like. Boom. And that's what you do with your left hand if you're right-handed. But if you're right-handed, you want to use your left hand for pressing down the strings. Now, you want to use your most dominant hand for the, you know, strumming part because rhythm and things, more complex things. So basically, you want to keep the chord down with this and you want to add the little rhythm and the spice with this one. So it's like, got the rhythm now, all right? So it's like, you can just do one chord. Boring, bland, tasteless, absolutely putrid. Not really putrid, but you get what I'm saying. But like, or you can get the rhythm and go like this. You know, make it sound a lot less boring is what I'm saying. Like you don't have to use a pick and you don't have to strum. But like, let's say I use that same exact chord, but I only use my fingers. sounds completely different because you know it's in technique and rhythm but you know that's for a later date but you don't have to play chords either you can just you know single one note so like something like you know things like that so that's that's Mostly the basics. Um, yeah, that's how you do that. And you know, you put songs together using the chords.